Have you ever wondered what the Olympics would look like if every athlete was allowed to use steroids? Sorry to break it to you, but we already know what that looks like. It's called the Olympics. Have you guys heard of the Enhanced Games? Billionaire PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel has invested in a drug-friendly sports contest styled as a, quote, modern reinvention of the Olympic Games. Part of a movement embracing ways science and technology can enhance human performance that critics argue endangers both athletes' health and sport itself. That's right, baby. 2024 is the year of the Enhanced Games. And billionaire freakazoid Peter Thiel is funding it. You see, Peter Thiel is a bit of a weirdo, considering the fact that he invests in quite possibly the strangest projects known to mankind. So when I heard news of the Enhanced Games and Peter Thiel was backing it, it all checked out. Thiel was revealed as an investor in a quote, multi-million dollar seed round on Tuesday for the Enhanced Games. A privately funded sporting contest that describes itself as the Olympics of the future. Thiel is joined by the likes of Balaji Srinivasan a cryptocurrency investor and former CTO of Coinbase, and Christian Angermeyer, a biotech investor who said the games will undoubtedly inspire the public's imagination. You see, to me, this entire idea is a bit silly, but I guess this is the route that we're going. The Enhanced Games said it will not test athletes for drugs or other performance enhancers at its events. It is not clear when the first competition will take place, explaining it, quote, embraces the inclusion of science and sports, and is, quote, unencumbered by anachronistic legacy systems that are, quote, anti-science and stigmatize, quote, enhanced athletes. Holy fucking shit, the amount of quotes are, are, are fake natties themselves. The contest said it is aiming to be the, quote, safest international sport event in history and will require full medical screens on athletes competing to monitor any risks. Imagine the look on my face when I first heard about the enhanced games. It's literally the fake natty Olympics. Now, if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, do we really need this? Do we need a sporting event where anyone can take any drug that they want and push humanity to its limits and break some world records? Apparently the answer is yes, but that's not the only reason why the enhanced games is happening. According to its founder, Aaron D'Souza, he believes that the Olympic games are rife with corruption. All you have to do is Google IOC corruption or the International Olympic Committee. The idea of fairness and Olympics simply can't coexist. Every four years, a country will host the Olympic Games. Now, you can think of it as if that country is throwing a party for the rest of the world. And not all these countries have the infrastructure and means to build everything needed to host the Olympic Games. So what happens? You have hyperinflated budgets, unfinished projects, athletes on steroids, entire countries that are organizing schemes, scams, and cheating scandals. Like, what the fuck? The Olympics is just one giant cluster fuck. There is documented evidence of state-sponsored doping programs. You think professional sports in the West is bad? Have you seen Russia? Between figure skaters on performance-enhancing drugs, the track athlete who ate a tainted burrito is still going by that fucking claim. Who remembers when Michael Phelps was busted for weed? I remember being a kid being like, <gasps> oh no. And as an adult, I'm like, wouldn't that make you slower? Moral of the story, the Olympic Games are a joke. But I'll also admit that watching people shatter world records is one of the sickest things ever. So I'm not totally out on the Olympics. It's just taking it seriously as this fair competition among countries is just uh, asinine. Uh, Filion, what about bobsledding? I'm sure they're all natty. Dude, I don't know. They're probably on some fucking shit because all of these games have exploits and the top athletes in these games are finding those exploits. It's not rocket science. And even if it's a 1% increase, you bet they're going to utilize whatever it is that helps them. So if Johnny in the fucking bobsled is snorting five gum that helps him get in the bobsled faster and do the fucking loop, uh, who knows? While the enhanced movement stresses enhancements as a personal choice for competitors, the contest website says it embraces enhanced athletes and wants to push the perceived limit of what is possible with the ultimate goal of setting new world records. Let's be clear that the enhanced games is not actually going to be that fun to watch because the top athletes in the Olympics 
who hold the world records are probably juicing. Everybody knows that Usain Bolt is the fastest man in the world, and his time for the 100 meter race is 9.58 seconds. Now, why is it that competitors two through 10 have all been routinely popped for performance enhancing drugs, but Usain Bolt is as clean as a whistle? Tyson Gay popped. Asafa Powell popped. Johan Blake popped. Marvin Anderson popped. Justin Gatlin popped. Stephen Mullings popped. Nesta Carters popped. Tim Montgomery popped. Does he train that much harder? Is he that much of a genetic outlier? Maybe, but something tells me that if he hopped on a designer stack, he wouldn't go sub nine in the hundred meter. 1988 Seoul Olympics, quote, the dirtiest race in history. Six out of eight competitors in the 100 meter final, including Johnson's American adversary, Lewis, were found to have taken performance enhancing drugs. But if you were to tell me with a straight face that you honestly think Usain Bolt is natty given this information, I would question your critical thinking skills. The guy's name is Insane Lightning Bolt. Do you not realize the marketing capabilities to prop him up as the fucking god of sprinting? Hello? Do you know how many eyeballs he brings to track and field? Do you know how many little boys he inspires around the globe just because his last name is Bolt and he happens to be the most cracked runner in history? So the fact that the Enhanced Games is drawing a population pool of athletes from, I don't know, mid to high level organizations around the world thinks that they can go toe to toe with the most insane athletes already in the Olympics, who are probably already using steroids, they're out of their goddamn bird. The cream of the crop is already in the Olympics. And if the Olympic Games are as corrupt as Aaron D'Souza asserts, then that means that these athletes are not going to jump over to the Enhanced Games. They would be committing career suicide. So what I think we're actually going to get is a bunch of mid-athletes who are juiced to the gills, trying to even get to the level that the Olympians are at in the first place. And they're going to fail and die, and there's really not going to be that many earth-shattering records being broken. You think Lu Zhao Jun is just taking an extra scoop of creatine? You think you're going to beat these records? The Enhanced Games says it is going to be, quote, the most inclusive sports league in history. All adults will be welcome to apply to compete in the games, organizers said, regardless of whether they are natural, adaptive, or enhanced, an amateur, or a former Olympian. Registration will open in late 2024. Precise dates for the contest are not yet known. Now, if you're going to try to disrupt the Olympics, take their crown, usurp their power, your marketing has got to be next level. And as a result, the Enhanced Games has this banger of a commercial, a promo, a trailer. I am the fastest man in the world. I am a fake natty. I have broken Usain Bolt's 100 meter record. Really? <laughs> There's no shot, buddy. All right, pull up. I will eat my fucking words if you break Usain Bolt's 100 meter record. It's not gonna happen. It's impossible. Because if athletes two through 10 are doping and Usain Bolt hypothetically is natural and he's just that much of a genetic outlier, you, being on steroids and not being a genetic outlier is not going to yield a 9.4900 meter. No shot, Jimmy Johns, Jimmy Jones. No fucking chance. Can't show you my face. I am a proud, enhanced athlete. This is the most spiritually gay thing I've ever watched in my entire life. As if I'm supposed to feel bad for you that you can't make the actual Olympics. As if these shadowy forces are preventing you from competing in the Olympics. The Olympics hate me. I need your help to come out. <laughs> it actually is gay. I need your help to stop hate. Dude, I will never stop hating on fake natties. I need your help for the world to embrace science. Uh, I just wouldn't call it embracing science. I would say embracing modern developments in drugs, but science? I don't know. That's a slippery slope we're headed down. Come join me in 2024 
at the first enhanced games and see me break the world record in public. Now I will say, the one thing the enhanced games is, is fair. Because they're saying anyone can take anything, no discrimination. That is the most fair way to conduct competition at the highest level. Because like you saw in the Olympics and like we continue to see, there are athletes doping and using drugs to get those advantages. Maybe they get popped, maybe they don't. So I will give the Enhanced Games credit that they actually are equal. Hashtag science is real. <laughs> Look, even if your blood work is in tip-top shape, the amount of people that are going to die as a result of this is going to be, I'm sorry, hilarious. Now this stems into an entire transhumanism debate. Some people, like the people behind the enhanced games, think that we should use every tool, every drug, everything we possibly can to usher humanity into a new age of development, an eon of evolution. But all of these Silicon Valley dorks who roleplay as gods themselves get one thing wrong when doing this. It's that Mother Nature hits like a fucking bitch and will smite you if you continue to taunt her. We have to understand that we're dealing with drugs here, okay? The human body is only capable of so much before it just gives out. Like, the whole idea to me is not even that cool. What, am I supposed to sit here and respect that guy's decision to accelerate his early death in pursuit of an arbitrary goal? Like, <laughs> congratulations, you ran around the track point one second faster than another guy. Send it to me. Why on earth should we want or have a doping Olympics where everyone just dopes themselves up? Because science is real, Pierce. Medicine is real. Technology is here. So it's cheating. Uh, it's not cheating at all. We're creating a level open playing field. Cheating is happening at the Olympic Games because they have a highly constrained environment with an artificial rule set. Um, and in the enhanced games, we want to do everything out in the open. He's right. It is a level playing field, but I wouldn't call it medicine. All right, Mark, this might sound completely nuts, but is, is the existing system being so discredited with so many cheats? Is there some method to this madness? No, well, I was wondering if it was a serious... The reason why I came in is to see yeah. whether it was a, a, a serious thing uh, and whether these things are going to happen and how far it's gone. Uh, uh, my head tells me that it's completely unsafe and I think people will abuse it and people die from taking drugs on a daily basis anyway. I don't just... I mean, performance-enhancing drugs. And I just think, where does it go? We have seem to have safeguards in place. Yes, some people slip through the net. There is a Wild of the World Anti-Doping mm -hmm. Association do have things in place. And there still are people out there that do cheat if they choose to, but it's a very small minority. I just think looking at this from the outside, it's just got death written all over it. I wonder what Rich Froning would accomplish at the CrossFit Games if he was allowed to use steroids. I don't understand why the average Joe is so stupid when it comes to performance enhancing drugs in professional sports as it is. What are you gonna do if people start dying? Because they're all trying to outdope each other. They're all taking whatever they want. I mean, it's a completely insane idea, isn't it? You're a lawyer. I mean... Yes, I am a lawyer, but... Aren't you just going to be on the receiving end of masses amounts of lawsuits? Well, in fact, there are quite a number of international sporting competitions that do not have drug testing. The X Games, for example, which is probably the most uh, prevalent challenger to the Olympic Games, does not have drug testing. The NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball have uh, drug testing regimes that are not compliant with uh, WADA. The Olympic Games is... Well, they drug still have drug tests. Well, it's, it's much, much lighter. That's an interesting take. Instead of having the enhanced games, why not just get rid of drug testing in sports? That's like a 500 IQ play. Why did I not think of that? <laughs> what sort of Jimmy Neutron brain blast am I having right now? I guess the issue of fake natties would still exist ideologically. Like there would be athletes that say, I'm natural even though my sport doesn't test. Like that won't go away. But the whole bullshit where we pretend that we're clean would. I think that's actually a step in the right direction. Yeah, but you're NFL taking all the limits off and you're saying anyone can take anything. So if people want to win and they think there's money at the end of it or a big prize or whatever it may be, they're going to take a lot of stuff and that is going to be very dangerous. Does he not know how professional sports work? There's hundreds of millions of dollars on the line for athletes and they all want to win and secure the bag. So they take 
whatever they want to do that. Pierce Morgan represents how the average person thinks about these topics with zero nuance or knowledge. The statement professional sports have drug testing is the most lukewarm IQ take you could possibly have. We must believe that athletes who are adults with free and informed consent should be able to make choices about their own bodies. My body, my choice, your body, your choice. Enhancements are present in our society. I see you have a coffee cup right there. Mm. Caffeine is the most used enhancement probably in the world, right? And should the government or should some paternalistic sports organization be telling you peers how much caffeine you should be able to drink? All right, Mark, again, this, I mean, I think the idea of this is insane. Oi, Mark, this is bloody bollocks, Mark. Do people watch it? Uh, probably, possibly. I don't know a lot about the X Games. I think the thing is, if there wants to be competition towards IOC, because IOC is mm. a monopoly of the Olympics, and there's another sporting body, that's one thing, but I, I don't see this. The Olympic Games has had a monopoly on power. Mm. They've run the international sporting world for 120 years. And you want a piece of that action? I want to show the world that there's a better way, not to waste hundreds of billions of dollars of taxpayer money every four years by building dozens of stadiums, throwing them away, and waste and corruption upon corruption. Wait a second, Aaron D'Souza is cooking right now? Uh, I am pleased to report that we have over 400 athletes who have registered on our website. We have athletes like Christina Smith, Brett Fraser, Roland Schumann, Olympians all around who are on our Athletes Advisory Board. <laughs> um, and it's time to shake up the system. If people actually come out of the woodwork and start smashing records, then I will be impressed. But I'm telling you, I think it's going to be a bit underwhelming for what everyone is expecting. One man has asked, what's the big deal? Businessman Aaron D'Souza launching a new kind of Olympic Games, he's calling it, uh, the enhanced games for athletes who would otherwise be banned from international competition. D'Souza's enhanced games hope to launch in December 2024 with athletes competing in track and field, swimming, weightlifting, gymnastics, and combat sports. I'm guessing that's gonna be like the MMA stuff. Combat sports? <laughs> I'm just picturing Mortal Kombat finishes. Hello, Aaron. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me on your show today. I appreciate it. What do you say to people, though, who think this is a gimmick? It's absolutely not a gimmick. We're extremely serious. Um, I'm very proud of the Olympians who have signed up to our Athletes Advisory Board, including Olympians like Christine Smith, uh, Roland Schumann, Brett Fraser. They've really put their reputations on the line to back this bold and new concept where we're embracing science and embracing social and technological change. Have you heard from Shikari Richardson, the track sensation who was busted for using weed? Uh, yes, a tainted burrito, I think was the phrase uh, uh, in that. Nah, buddy, you got your athletes mixed up. The, the use of performance enhancements in sport is rife. And the definition of what is a performance enhancement is extremely subjective. Um, cannabis is perfectly legal in many states of the United States now, but it can get you banned from competing in the Olympic Games. It's a complete farce. I want to see Aaron D'Souza on that mutant pack. You mentioned a long list there, but do you think more and more athletes who can no longer compete are going to participate because they have the audience, they have the following? Absolutely. Uh, since we launched just five days ago, we received over 100 inquiries. Uh, I, just before I spoke with you today, I've been speaking with an, uh, a Team USA uh, medalist who is ready to compete for us. Uh, and there's a huge interest in building a better version of the Olympics. The Olympics have been broken for uh, at least 20 years since Sydney 2000. Uh, corruption scandal after corruption scandal. And we're really looking forward to the opportunity to show the world that science is real and uh, medicine can really make human beings better. You describe the anti-steroid movement as being anti-science. I hope I'm getting all of these facts uh, correct. Absolutely. I think that's an unfair statement because I'm anti-steroid, but I'm not anti-science. I just have a moral and ideological problem with performance-enhancing drugs because I'm him. All those puss boys out there want to inject themselves in their butt. Yeah, give me another dose. I want some more cc's of testosterone because I can't make enough for myself. Like, go for it. Knock yourself out. But those make me anti-science. Would you call your efforts inclusive? I think our efforts are very fair. Uh, currently at the Olympic Games, uh, and other international sporting events, the use of enhancements is underground. According to research published by the NIH, 95% of NFL players have used anabolic steroids at some point in their career. It's rife among professional athletes. So wouldn't it be more fair 
to have an enhanced games on the one side and a natural, slow, boring Olympics on the other. <laughs> That's got to be a marketing joke because calling the Olympics slow and natural is just a flat out lie. <laughs> like if he really thinks his event, the enhanced games, is going to have that much of a difference between the Olympics, I think we're all in for a sad surprise. Aaron, what got you into this? Are, do you have a health background? Why is this so important to you? I could probably answer that. Money. I came up with the idea of the enhanced games because I sat down with a doctor in Los Angeles and actually an endocrinologist who's a bodybuilder who is a very active user of anabolic steroids. And I spent time learning about the risks and the opportunities of performance medicine. And it's true. Science is real, longevity and performance medicine is here, and it can make a substantial impact on your life. But shortens your lifespan? Unequivocally? <laughs> like, <laughs> or, what doctor are you getting this information from? Aaron, are you gonna be competing in anything? You look young and limber. <laughs> well, uh, I'm 38 years old, and uh, I do hope to at least compete in one one event. Uh, it, it's a, uh, a life and a lifelong dream of mine to be an elite athlete, and nothing would be better to be there at the first enhanced games, along with some of the best athletes in the world, as we aim to obliterate all the world records. When you talk about incremental improvements and expounding upon the current world records in a lot of these events, you're talking about efficiency gaps that are as wide as the fucking Grand Canyon. Okay, it's not as simple as just like, oh, I take this and then I run faster. Now, there's also the problem of paying athletes because now you're incentivizing drug use and the carrot on the stick is money. The more I take, the harder I perform, the more money I get. And at that point, you're just playing with fire. Say you hired the world's most elite doping doctors to oversee every single granular biomarker you could possibly think of. You could minimize all the side effects you want, or at least think that you are, but you are never going to be baseline again. I guess it just takes a different breed of person that wants to do this. If these enhanced athletes are getting paid for their performance, then people are going to die. All in all, the enhanced games is a really cool idea, and it would probably minimize all the corruption that we see in the Olympic games, but I think the results will be rather underwhelming. But like I said, prove me wrong, and maybe I'll sign up as the only natty in the enhanced games. I'll fucking win that shit with the power of my third eye alone. Backed by the world's top venture capitalists. I thought you wanted to get rid of corruption. I don't know if these are marketing mumbo jumbo numbers, but if this is true, that's actually crazy. And these are the only ones getting popped. Cause apparently in the 2011 World Athletics Championship, 43.6% was enhanced versus 56.4% natural. And in the 2011 Arab Games, 42.9% natural and 57.1% enhanced. Which is why I guess they're asserting that 44% of athletes already use performance enhancements. Sports can be safer without drug testing. Just as lions aren't concerned with the opinions of sheep, so should you not concern yourselves with those who cite outdated moral arguments and incorrect science. As put by Marcus Aurelius, nah dude, you're hitting us with the stoicism? The opinion of 10,000 men is of no value if none of them know anything about the subject. Look, it's a pretty website, but it is full of fake natty propaganda. Protest on campus? Hitting us with an MLK Jr. quote? It's not that serious. Come